have to say that I just really didn't know where to talk to people about my art. It just felt like because I have a significant history of mental health issues in my family, it always felt a little awkward and kind of weird. But once I enrolled in the semester, that all changed. So it's really exciting. It was, it just, I found my tribe. And I guess I'm really starting to figure out who I am. It's not just as an artist and what I do in the making money or making art, making money semester. It's, it's really helped me personally to get on a healthier path, even though I've always been seeking healthier ways to, you know, build my life and make myself a better version of myself. I just think it's really helped me own my story and move through that journey in a, more graceful way. Nice. That's awesome. Damn. If you could just like stop there, that would be good, right? <laughs> How many people do struggle with their story and they they resist it instead of owning it and taking pr pride in it and seeing the gift, the gift in their story, even if their story was a painful one. There's a gift yeah. in it. I think that that pain has been causing a great deal of fear and doubt and uh, restriction on the part of me opening up myself to the right people, even though those people are completely understanding of my story. And I said, I just feel an alignment here and a connection and I'd really like to share my story with you. And then I met with the executive director and she really liked my story. Of course, you know, she deals with a lot of people who have had adverse circumstances and she really connected with me because I was just myself and I was just telling the truth. Yeah, I mean, I'm so, isn't the truth the best marketing strategy ever, ever, ever? Yeah, it takes all the pressure off. I don't have to be um, somebody that I'm not. Right. And it also, yeah, yeah. And you don't have to remember what to say. <laughs> yeah. You owned your story and you approached someone and you told your story and then what happened? What was the result? Well, they were just so supportive. They're like, we we want to purchase this work for to beautify our space. We've been I've been working on this for a year and a half. It hasn't happened overnight. It wasn't like that's it was one day and then it was done it was definitely a work in progress and over the course of a year and a half I met with numerous people including the the people who want to donate the art and the people who want to install the art and the people who are part of the purchasing department and the people who are you know there are a lot of people involved in right. the project but yeah it's been exciting I sold a piece of art for $3,500. She's graduated. <laughs> and that was before this installation of my photography at the Dahlia Center in Denver. So now I'm like, okay, I get this. This is my path. And it's helping me to clarify my path. It's yeah. like, oh, right. Now I get to get better at telling my story and talking about my art and it all starts to make much more sense. Right. And when people confirm that they receive value in your in your offering and in your art, you get paid. Yeah, they feel like my art is really hopeful. That's what was the, the major comment. And you know, a lot of people that are going to be walking through the doors at the Denver Mental Health Center will be people who are in adverse situations, who are really struggling and need help. And so I get to offer hope to them through my art. So now you know your why, you know your mission, and when you talk about it to me, I haven't, you know, I haven't even, I've never even met you in person, but I'm getting goosebumps already. How does it make you feel to know your why? I, I mean, it just, it, it clears up everything. <laughs> it just makes everything so much easier for me in my world. It's just, there's just no ambivalence and no frustration around my art. It's like I have a reason to want to do art. So I'm going to just keep doing it because I have a bigger mission than just myself. It's not about me. It's about this mission of helping people who've been in adverse situations and giving them hope. Oh, 
love hearing this. <laughs> I just love, I, this is why I bust my ass when I hear this. I love hearing I just feel really fortunate that I've been able to be a part of this because had I not found you, I'd still be going, huh, who should I, who do I talk to? Well, I don't know, I'm not going to talk to anybody about this. You know, I'll just stay in my studio and make my art. You know, but it didn't really, I didn't have a direction. And now I really have a clear direction. And it just feels amazing because, I mean, the Denver Mental Health Center has 24 different facilities. And they're just one city of many mental health centers that connect with my mission. And so it really opens up a whole plethora of you places. Got, yeah, have. you've got a target market to go for here. Yeah. Did you... Did you do this all by yourself? Did you study all by yourself or did you have some study partners? I had some amazing study partners. In fact, I got to meet one of them in oh. Portland a couple of weeks ago and she really inspired me. Um, her name's Erica Montgomery and she did this really cool thing with Whole Foods. It was through their leadership conference and she was documenting it as a videographer and it was about how she was eating and the person who was, you know, it just had, it got, went really deep. And I, I just let her know today. I'm like, you know, you've really inspired me. And she's like, wow, thank you so much for letting me know that. 